It's Adam here. Apparently there's gonna be a hurricane coming by here soon. That's why it's all dark and scary out there. And this is kind of cool-ish, just because, you know, I've actually never seen or been in one before. It's not supposed to be bad ones, we're supposed to be getting like a little bit of rain and just a little bit of wind. What are you supposed to do in a hurricane? Are you supposed to like, get in your basement with like, food and water and stay on there for like three days? Okay, I mean that's just a little bit ridiculous, okay. You're supposed to go down in your basement with food and water and weapons in case of a zombie cop on the that wants everyone dies. So Halloween's coming up, and I figured I'd tell you guys some little stories about my past Halloweens. You know, just to enlighten you into the spirit. Halloween for me has been okay. I stopped going out for Halloween around like grade four, grade six. I was like, let's go again. I think that was the last time, grade six. Okay, when I wouldn't go, I would just be that person, just sitting down there waiting for the doorbell to ring. And just be like, trick or treat, trick or treat. So I think it was um, grade seven where I was just like, you know, I'm gonna try something cool. So on grade seven, which was 2010, I decided to do something cool, you know, something new. So I decided to make my house into, like one of those really scary ones and like scare people. So what happened is I got three other people. Damon, uh, Justin, and Michael. What happened was, we were gonna set up this kind of thing where I would be in the bushes next to my door, so when people walk across the lawn, I would be like, ah, check the bushes or whatever, like, do whatever, right? And Damon would kind of be like behind like my house, like alleyway wall, and when they come around there, <laughs> pop out and stuff. And then Michael was kind of like a dead body or something. I don't know what he was. He just, <laughs> and then Justin would be like sitting on like the porch step, like pretending to be like dead. I don't know what he like 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 one of those fake people. And then kind of like jump at him and then like oh here's candy, right? He'd give out he'd give out the candy after scaring them. So it was going all good and there was also like music playing in the garage and there was like. It was set up to be kind of like a graveyard, like cautious tape all around and like fog and it was cool, you know, it looked pretty cool. So what happened was everyone always went to Justin because obviously the door was right there. So everyone went to Justin and he was like, ah, oh, scared people and I was like, oh, me, Michael and Dave were just chilling there waiting for people but they never came to where we were so we were just kind of like bored. And you know, I shook the bushes a couple times. So I was craving, I was craving to scare people. I was like. Come on, man. Come here. I want to scare someone so good. So after sitting in this bush for like an hour, I was just like, okay. Okay. I'm going to pull off the biggest scare of all of history of scary scariness, okay? I was like, this is going to go down in in history, okay? The, the, those people who I, got, who I scared were going to write books on my scare and tell to the grandchildren and tell to their children and their generations to come about my amazing scare that night. It was going to be so epic. It was gonna be epic. So this was my plan. So I'm in the bush, right? And these 16, basically senior high school people come to our door, right? They're chilling, they're all having a good time. So they go up to Justin, and Justin scares them. They're like, oh, holy crap, like, what was that? And then um, they're like, oh yeah, here's your candy, here's your candy, man. And then I'm like, this is it, this is it. I was like, I'm gonna jump out at them, right behind them, and they wouldn't even see me coming. I was like, whoa! And hopefully get them scared, all of them. There was like about 15 of them, okay? So I'm like, this is it, this is it. I just run out, all, like about some of them already saw me, but there's no turning back, I'm already on my way. Okay, so I'm running, okay, full on sprinting. And I'm like, I don't know what I said, I think I was like, I don't know, so I'm like, next thing, I don't know, I was like, I had a really squeaky voice. So yeah, I, I, I went behind them and I was like, I don't know, and then they kind of just looked at me, they're like, what the hell, who are you, what? <laughs> and I was so embarrassed, cause like, what I did was I just kind of I just kind of kept running like I ran like ah! and then I like I was like oh crap and then I ran into my garage where all the music was playing and hid behind my car I was like oh god oh god they're gonna think I'm a loser <laughs> that is so embarrassing it has to be one of my embarrassing moments of my entire life so that's all for today subscribe if you want to see more and leave your suggestions down below.
thanks for watching. This is your Ain't Got No Pedal, and peace out. The lights came on. Peace out.